Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today along with... Payasem Lieutenant Drakir at your service. And welcome to Showcase Sunday number 89, in which we'll be trying out a few games for about half an hour each to see if they're good for streaming now or later. And uh, yeah, last week, this one was supposed to happen, but for some reason it just completely funked out. But I managed to wrangle it into working. And yeah, this is Freedom Force. Which, to the people who know it, they probably <laughs> remember it quite fondly. Because this is, a, this is a good game. And I'll say this up front, I do want to stream this game. But it might go pretty long. But it, apparently the, I forgot to reset the timer from the previous stream, but I will. Uh, anyways, let's check the options. There, there is... Is a bit of an oddity with this game in that if you if you originally put it up into a into a higher resolution, then the game would start slowing down for some reason. I don't know why, but you can find fixes for that. Where you just have to put in a different .exe file and a vsync <coughs> and a vsync uh, folder, and yeah, that has fixed it. Okay. Um, yeah, the one other oddity with this game is that you don't change the difficulty when you start a new campaign. You have to change it here. And, well, you can see it has quite a <laughs> list of them. But let's go on easy. Because normal is still rather tricky. Yeah, th this is a game from the olden days where they would not hold your hand with difficulty and would absolutely kick your ass. So, Oh, dear. And that is also a something. For some reason, sometimes when you exit the options, it resets the audio to no sound. But this one, this one typically works the best here. Okay. Well, yeah. Let's not delay any further and start a new campaign. An old man sits on a park bench, thinking of a time shrouded in the past. His name is Frank Stiles, and he was once one of the brilliant young scientists who worked on the Manhattan Project. The Manhattan Project, the secret experiment that ushered in the wonders and terrors of the atomic age, was his work that helped secure America's position as the leader of the free world. But Frank's memories are tinged with bitterness, for he was thrown off the project when he accused one of his fellow scientists of being a communist spy. And now he sits in this park, every day feeling a little older and a little more useless. Just a minute. I recognize that man. It's O'Connor from the Manhattan Project. They never did believe me he was working for the Reds. But who's that suspicious fellow he's talking to? It looks like they're making some kind of secret exchange. I better move in closer for a better listen. Have you got the documents? Do you have my money? By Lenin's ghost. Is that all you Americans think about? The almighty dollar? Damn, I've been discovered. Idiot! You've been followed. Up to your old tricks, O'Connor? Do you know this capitalist fool? This is an itch I've been waiting to scratch for 20 years. Ah! We must flee before we are discovered. Come on! Bullet! Enter my heart, fading fast. Wait, statue of the Minuteman, glowing as if it were calling out to me. Power surging into me. Ah! I am growing younger, body bursting with strength. Feel like I could lift a thousand pounds. That statue must have been hit with some fantastic kind of energy, but it's fading. It must have completely transferred it into my body. I don't know what will come from all of this, but I must use these new powers to help my country fight her enemies within and without. Those Reds might have killed Frank Styles, but they're about to meet a Minuteman. Yeah, as what if it wasn't heck? obvious at all. This game is very Ryan golden age of comics. Protect his identity. Minuteman searches for the treacherous O'Connor. Perhaps that double crosser left some clues in this park to his whereabouts. 
To get information mm -hmm. about playing the game, click on the glowing signs. It was a minute man. <laughs> I don't know. I thought he was something like a Maharaji or sombrero or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, that, that's a tricone hat, not a sombrero. Yeah, I, I could. In the main menu, I could not see what. This, I only saw bottom it, like a. from a weird angle of what. Sombrero? Is it okay. Captain Mexico or something? I was thinking <laughs> no. it's be very bad cheesy from that age, but no, Minute Man. Yeah. I, I wasn't able to see the tricone hat properly, I would probably get something else. Uh, yeah, it, as, speaking of cheesy, this game is going to have so much cheese you can f you can feed it in half of the Netherlands with cheese sandwiches with it. And you know what? You, you know what? Just for that, be right back. <laughs> I'll get some Gouda. <laughs> yeah, he got a uh, he Gouda. Go get it. The, uh, yeah, I actually forgot to replay the introduction. That's that yeah, that plays the first time that you start up the game, but it doesn't add too much to it. It's basically uh, think of the start of uh, episode four of Star Wars, with one, a, one big ship chasing a smaller ship. Only the smaller ship gets blasted to bits, uh, but its cargo of mysterious energy canisters gets flung all across Earth. And yeah, that is the origin of what happened with uh, this statue. And yeah, each of each or at least most of the characters in this game should have their own little secret origins uh, cinematic. Some will play throughout the story. Some you will have to start up yourself by looking at uh, by looking up later in the uh, team management screen. For now. Let's just go follow the instructions. Objects and people who you can click on in order to get more information are marked with a red exclamation point. And yeah, you control this game like an isometric, uh, like an isometric party game. So think of like uh, Neverwinter Nights and such. But yeah, comics instead of uh, fantasy. Follow the yellow arrows to learn more about the game. If you already know how to play, follow the red arrow. Oh dear. And, yeah, always a nice option if they let you skip the tutorial if you want. Yeah, and also, yes, I'm back. I brought the sheets with me and just uh, went to put it back. <laughs> Hit the O key to see your objectives. Yeah. We have primary objective, of course, and secondary objectives, which give bonuses in prestige. Prestige is a currency for upgrading characters. When you left click on an enemy, you execute your default attack. Try it on the thug ahead. Right makes might! Go, simple as that. What? Oh, the come on! The bar in the bottom right shows details on the target object. Move the pointer over the thug ahead to examine him. Yeah. Like as it says, Slug with bats, 20 HP, they weigh 170 pounds. That is actually something that comes into play with things later, uh, with certain abilities. And yeah, Hoodlum armed with a baseball bat, and those icons in the red parts, those are vulnerabilities. All right, and Poor you didn't know this. Come on, I'll squeal. <laughs> this thug has surrendered. Left click on him to interrogate. You didn't notice the pun he made earlier? Uh, which pun? I've I've had to go through this a few times to test if the game was going running correctly, so I might have uh, I might have uh, toned it out. Uh, right makes might. Yeah. It's the other way around. I don't know where O'Connor is, but Louie might know. He's down on Concord Street. That that is what people typically say, but what the way Minuteman says it, it fits with his character. That's uh, yeah. <laughs> being the uh, how would that be? it's try to announce it without making it sound political or something but yeah being in the right grants might that is, I think will be the best way to say right it. click on a target to bring up the command menu yeah okay if it makes sense but I also see it also being misused as a term true but right, then again this game came out over <laughs> two decades right, ago. 2003 or 2004, to be specific, I believe. Yeah. 
I think I heard people talk about Freedom Force. But for some reason, I thought. I never asked what it was. It's a very fun game. When using the command menu, the status bar shows details on each option available. Strike for Freedom is weaker than Smash, but it hits multiple enemies. Oh, I think I know why I never asked. Or freedom. I think or I thought justice. it was just a new, one of the like Justice League or something. The and at that age, I had no interest in heroes. You have. Minuteman will stop attacking when he runs out of energy. You can force him to keep attacking, but this may stun him. Be careful. Yeah, a little bit of resource managing. Try striking this boulder to pieces. You may run out of energy while doing so. Okay, th this thing is 2,200 pounds, which is too heavy for Minuteman to lift. Because, Bright yeah, up to certain amounts, they can pick up stuff and actually throw it as weaponry. Again, energy that's stupid thing. X canisters can restore your energy or give you other bonuses. At the moment, we are probably regenerating energy a lot faster. Not that we'll have use of it for the moment. Check how much energy a power will use from the energy bar attached to the command menu. Be careful when it flashes. Yeah. It shows how much energy each power uses. And like it said, you want to be a bit careful with it and not run out. You can hold down the right mouse button and drag the command menu around. This makes it easier to target moving enemies. Try it now. To victory! You saved me! Thank you! And, yeah, the up-close models have a very zero's quality of it. You yeah, can change your default it... left-click attack by clicking the default power button in the lower left. Set it to strike for freedom before attacking these thugs. Uh, also see, it has the burger variant of the early zeros. Yeah. But there was still some of the world. Really little rough and some really good. For justice. And yeah, you can easily swap between these attacks with uh, the F keys, function keys. Set your default attack back to smash if you want to avoid running out of energy by accident. I will say its art style and choice here has it better than other games from its era. Yeah. Who is that guy? Looks like trouble. Also, the reason that those, <laughs> the reason that those portraits are so fucking massive is because this was supposed oh, to be, me. this was originally to be played on well a lot smaller monitors and such. You can talk to everyday inhabitants of Patriot City by clicking on them. They may have interesting things to say. The streets ain't safe no more. And yeah, the. the I I wouldn't call it low quality, but medium quality of the designs gives it a certain oh, charm as well. It fits with the comic style. Yeah. You can and wield also, some objects it, as it, weapons. It, it, Try using a traffic light as a club. <laughs> I keep interrupting you, sorry. I, I, I think it's also the game. Like I say, the game screams definitely early America, but they were almost a bit too much about the freedom. Basically, they do you not realize that it had become a stereotype? Yeah, this is this does take place somewhere in the 60s or so. On the command menu. Better up! Bonk! <laughs> Bully these people with traffic lights. I'll squeal! No more! I'll squeal! They took damage all right, again. Alright, alright, Finny's down at the cafe. He'll know where O'Connor is. I think I'm Terminator. You get prestige by completing objectives. Prestige can be used to attract new heroes to your team. Yep. Hey, sweetie, hand over the greenbacks. Leave me alone. Ain't you got no manners? You saved me. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you can also lose prestige, or at least get a debuff on the amount you'll get from a mission if, well, you cause property damage or civilians get injured. You can choose a defensive power from the command menu. National Guard will help you approach these thugs safely. 
Yep, National Guards, an energy shield that redirects projectile attacks at a nearby enemy. Ready for anything. And there we go. Yeah, Got Minuteman is a melee brawler, basically, <laughs> and only that. Okay. It will turn off once he gets in range, though, so it is very good for approaching. Oh, dear. I will say this about his design. It looks way better than Superman, at least. <laughs> you can pick up some objects to throw them at enemies. Try picking up a car. Yep. Now, left click to throw, or select throw from the command menu. Hey, boys. Catch your rides. Yep. Oh, come on. And it calls it. Wait. Did it call? To victory. Right. Did it call seriously bounce? Yeah. <laughs> From here. Are you sure uh. that's a car? And not a balloon. Some of your characters will be able to take the high ground. Left click on the roof to jump up and defeat this enemy. Yeah. Oh, hello. They're just preaching to a halt. Well, yeah, there's different types of movement. I mean, man can well, jump up places, as is obvious. You can even jump across small gaps like this. All right. If you right-click on a power in the command menu, you can increase intensity to do more damage. Yeah, because this guy has more health. So if we were to normally smash him, it wouldn't take him out in one hit. But if we hold... If we click with right, we can, well, put in mo a lot more effort in, which increases the damage and the stun effect. So let's go with one, but it does Two increase damage. Yeah. For freedom. Luckily, the standard attack doesn't use up any energy at all, so you can overcharge that quite a bit. Now the yoop. High intensity attacks use more energy. Lower intensity attacks do less damage, but use less energy. Yeah, it, it, a fair trade-off. Red Energy X canisters restore health. Uh, one thing that it doesn't mention, though, is that it doesn't affect the hit chance. I feel refreshed and ready for battle. Bring them on! Uh, so, if, a, if an attack has 25% chance to hit, it'll have the same 25% chance to hit, no matter what intensity is on it. Avoid damaging buildings or hurting civilians, or you will lose prestige. I guess it would be... heck did he hit there? <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it would have been a bad idea to put up National Guard there, because it would likely reflect a bullet into one of these barrels. Oh, yeah! Green Energy X canisters give you experience bonuses to upgrade your character. More Energy X flowing into me! I feel more capable, stronger! They'll never stop me now! Okay, I had it a bit wrong. Prestige is for hero recruitment, and experience is per character. You can pause the game by hitting the space bar. At the moment, it doesn't fully pause because I set the pause speed to one eighth. You can change that to full speeds or yeah, a lot slower hey, Louis, as well. Me you'd be coming. Mm -hmm. I'll take care of you. Or just to a full stop. I just find it to be more fun to have it super slow mode. All right, uh, I'll spill the beans. Ready. I just yeah, realized. Yeah. Not with all these enemies around. Yeah. Oh. He wasn't supposed to come up yet. How about a let's see Horse Patriot City? Uh, I recognize the voice actors. I give up! The boss just told me to keep you busy! I don't know who this costume do gooder is, but I bet he can't survive an exploding building. Yeah, uh, these are yeah. voice act veterans. Yeah. Uh, yep. 
gotta chase after the bastards. But yeah, you can't interrogate when there's still active enemies around. For Patriot City. And there is, justice. there is, I believe, one dumb thing with the AI with for your characters is that they not always they won't always defend themselves if attacked. Right makes might. That's enough. I give in. O'Connor is down for the count. You can interrogate him now. And we could. Or we could look around the place and look for, well, look for extra things. Because over here, there's another enemy that we could you know, that we could go find and kick. No, not kill, but kick their ass at least. Because you also get prestige for the amount of enemies that you defeat. So, uh -huh. yeah. It's not always the best idea to just go straight to the end. But, yeah. We won't Time do that now. for a chat, my little red friend. There you go, catch O'Connor, rescue the victims from the muggers. We, this wasn't visible until we found them, so it is always a nice idea to explore an area. And yeah, we killed, we knocked out 14 thugs with bats of 18. We got all of the thugs with pistols, and we got O'Connor. And yeah, there would have been. Another type here, if we had found the, the enemy I just pointed out, they would be a gangster. And yeah, we weren't close, we never got close enough, so we never got to spot them and such, so they don't appear here either. Oh dear. I think I'm leaning towards us streaming this. Yeah, we probably should investigate how long it is. Yeah, it, it is a long game, but <laughs> like with the old comics, they would go on forever and ever. Though it isn't like a Japanese. Yeah, RPG game like that like takes hundreds of hours or so, but it's still a pretty long game. Anyways, Minuteman got experience and he got a level up and he got C points here. Dead end, O'Connor. Time to face the music. Who are you? What do you want from me? Where did your pal go with the stolen documents? I don't know what you're talking about. It's a long way to the ground, O'Connor. You're all talk, Flagface. Stay back. Me or the street trader, you choose. Okay, okay. <laughs> You'll find them down at the old Wilson Paper Warehouse on Benjamin Franklin Boulevard. You look tired, chum. Why not take a little nap? That was for Frank Stiles. Flush with his first victory, Minuteman heads downtown, unaware that he is watched all the while. He is coarse and untrained, but perhaps there's potential there. But potential for what? What mysterious plans are afoot for our hero? And who is this new mysterious figure on the scene? These are questions that time alone can answer. This is your chance to train Minuteman. Visit the team screen by left-clicking on the team button. Can I just say that I love the narrator of this game? Yeah. It, again, I'm leaning towards yes, but uh, this is a little less cringe and more funny. Yeah, it, it's sincere sat. No, it, I wouldn't call it satire. It, it's a sincere love letter to the. Uh, well, two comics and such. Yeah, uh, but also point is they still have a little bit of fun with it. Yeah. Like the end of the yeah, they do by spending me. character points. You gain character points each time you level up. Levels are gained by acquiring experience points for going on missions. Select Minuteman to see how many CP and XP he has. Then click the train button. Hello there, Marco. Are you doing well today? Yep, he has Hello, Marco. 1200 CP, and he needs 600 experience to level up again. Character points can be spent to buy new attributes or powers. Click the power tab and buy Minute Missile. You'll need to level up Eternal Vigilance first. And yeah, this can get quite deep. Uh, luckily for each of the <clears throat> each of the story characters, their designs are predetermined in what they will get. Like with Min yeah, with Minuteman, we could buy his uh, the <clears throat> disciplined attributes, which are basically like D and D feats and such. 
as in they give uh, bonuses or penalties. Uh, for example, if we <clears throat> Minutemen would get resistance to all mental attacks, hypnosis, mental, blank, rage, and panic. But for now we move over here and upgrade some of his powers because we want this here. Just upgrade that twice. And there, we now have Minute Missile, which is a medium damage projectile attack that strikes all those in range and has a chance to stun, as we can see by viewing. The power screen shows you details on a power. And yeah, this is all rather complex because you can actually make your own characters to be recruited into the game. Hmm. Okay, so wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm saying we can make a Captain Hillian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we uh, have to stream this at us, to, us both here and Rom, a few others. Okay, you can even have a look at the animations and such. And <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, I will definitely try to make a character then. And yeah, you can also take a look at all of the other things here we have. About 400 CP left. You need to hover over to show, to see what how much it actually costs to upgrade something, but you can undo it again. So let's see. If we upgrade this twice. We would gain access to 300 percenter, cause the next melee attack to do triple damage. Pretty good, if I'd say so. And let's see. We can't buy Disciplines, because that would take 350. Okay, we'll leave it at that for now. And yeah, here you can take a look at the secret character's secret origin. Okay. Now visit the database in order to gather information on your foes. And what did Marcus say? I'm good, Captain. Today I was on a bunch of adventures. Okay, what were you doing then? Here you can examine enemies for strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, this won't be too useful since, well, we've already dealt with O'Connor and, oh, that's the timer going off. Ow. But yeah, you can look up their stats and such, attributes, crack shot, increases accuracy, weak-minded, if I can hover over it long enough. The energy axe enhanced world is a very alien place, and every new day is strange and confusing. Your brain just can't handle all of these chains, and your resistance to mental damage is halved. Yeah, negative traits like this do give you extra uh, CP to work with on a character, though. Plus, well, a character is only really fun if they have weaknesses to have exploited. Otherwise, well... <laughs> now proceed to the next mission by clicking on the mission briefing button. Don't forget to save the game first. Oh, so nice that they advise you to save, because it doesn't fully autosave on each turn. I believe there is one autosave. But you're going to get easily get yourself screwed if you take a team in you know, to something that they cannot handle at all. But, yeah. Um, but <clears throat> good cause. I am all open for doing stream this. Though I do feel like if you were to stream this, it would probably be a mainstream since. Definitely. Since, again, if you can can get in the free hour stream with this. It will shorten the amount of episodes, to probably that will be some long episodes of this, but still. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably need to do a bunch of research as well, because I remember having some trouble in some areas of this game. Or maybe I'll just throw the difficulty down to very easy to ensure that we will be making progress no matter what. For now, yeah. let's start up the mission briefing. And then we'll move on to the next game. Following a tip from O'Connor, Minuteman pursues his communist quarry to an abandoned paper warehouse. Now to track down that pesky Ruski and find out what's what. And in the wings, a stranger stands watching. Hmm, the human is promising. Perhaps he will fit my purpose. Here's where you pick your squad for the mission. For now, you only have Minuteman available, so just enter the fray. And uh, yeah, we will have more characters, of course, up to four in a mission. And also notice this, sometimes some heroes just won't be available for some reason or another. All uh, right. Uh, oh, it goes, it rose back to that. This is okay. your chance to train Minuteman. Uh, Visit Let's leave the campaign.
<laughs> and yeah, here is replay intro. Uh, I already described the best of that mostly. I'll when we stream this, I will just play that of you know, course. So for now, let's quit game and move on to the next one. Though I don't know if well, this one will fully work. This game refuses to work in windowed at all, no matter what I tried. That's why I'm seeing image of an image of an image of OBS. Uh, yeah. So you're not seeing anything blue at all? No, nope, only many, many, many OBS. Okay, well, that disqualifies this one immediately then, unless I can find some way to get it to function in windowed mode, which again, I haven't found so far. And yeah, that would have been <clears throat> Gene Shift Auto, which I actually don't know much about. I think it might play like Grand Theft Auto, the old ones. Uh, anyways, Marco. I was a homeless wizard. I made memes as a job to get my dad, who left for milk 10 years ago, and I became a crew <laughs> member of some pirate group. Uh, what have you, what have you been up to? <laughs> Roll, uh, Roll twenty game or something, or uh, have you maybe smoked something? Anyways, moving on to the third game that we had prepped, or I had prepped, and I think you'll uh, appreciate this one to some degree at least. Oh, good gods. My poor ears. Uh, was that audio for, audible for you there, Marco? The blast of sound from Helian's mic? Test one, two. Three, four, five. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'd kind of forgotten that whenever my headset loses connection for some reason, that is because the mic is freaking out. So, yeah, sorry about that. I'll have to edit that out. Uh, I thought I'd managed to undo that permanently, but apparently not. Okay. Um, yeah, where... Did... <laughs> Anyways, uh, this game <laughs> is Generation Zero. And, um, yeah. Let's see... Yeah. You, you said... You mentioned it uh, some week ago, and you said this took place in Sweden? Yeah. So, yeah, I already have a, a game running in this, so let's start a new one. Would you like to reset? Yes. Okay, then we can create a character. I already have this one, but let's start with a new one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, voice language Swedish at standard. Or you can swap that to English if you want. Let's see, automatic difficulty scaling. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's leave that off. Difficulty. Um, let's see. It doesn't actually say... I think this is the... Yeah, that's standard. Okay, this is the lower difficulty. Which I'd say... I, I would advise this game. It is nice, but there's also just some weird... You know, weird you know, some oddities with this game. Or maybe I maybe I just suck at this type of gameplay. Anyway, let's just leave that as that and start up. Uh, player two, what? <laughs> and start up the timer. 
And it was a, yeah. When you said, I thought you said wrong with the, the another game called Mutant Year Zero. Okay, but the fear of another war remains. Now, post World War II, the government invested in what would become the Total Defense Program. Over the years, Sweden increased military spending. I'm pretty sure this wasn't in this when I first played this game, because it technically was early access, organizing civilian preparedness for future attacks. Every man, woman, and child was drilled to be ready for war. Knowing exactly what to do when the siren sounds. Hmm. Oster Torn, 1989. It's, it's disturbing. Okay. You and some friends spend a few days away, cut off from the world. When returning, an explosive hits your boat. You don't know what fired, or why. You make it to shore. Injured, but alive. Could use with voiceover that part, but oh well. I think the game is fully out now. I'm not sure if they consider it completely done. Okay. Yeah. I would say if they use Swedish voice acting, that would probably actually help mean the people to handle some of the leather we can have. Like you did say, you didn't interpret the letter uh, as an O. Okay. As many um, do. Okay, the, the game is taking up a lot of my GPU at the moment. I really should check if that thing is being choked or something. Oh okay. dear, yeah, the, the first of her band. <laughs> <laughs> That's first aid. Yep. Okay, stand uh, controls, WASD, mouse, shift to run, control to crouch. And yeah, things have clearly gone to shit. I'll take that. And yeah, our first little weapon. Some more first aid kits. You'll want as many of these damn things as you can find. Okay, adrenaline shot, first aid, and some plastic. So let's take them all. We do have a weight limit, but we can carry quite a lot before we hit that. <laughs> Eat the first aid, yeah. If you use the first aid, you will do that instead. Oh dear. It looks like you eat them and they heal for 25 each. I don't know if there is any way at all to increase your maximum HP in this game. Okay, some textile and a backwards cap. Okay, let's take that. And let's see. Yeah, whatever, <laughs> whatever apparel things you find, you can just swap to whenever you want. And let's take that. Another adrenaline shot. Each area has that little thing at the top that popped up there to show you what you can find in the area. Or, well, the big things you can find in the area. Yeah. Is this taking any alternative timeline? Uh, yeah. All right, and then it made more things make a bit more sense then. Okay, we but... found a collectible. Bloody heck, they really can't... The developers are Swedish, aren't they? Very likely, yes. Yeah, for it screams so familiar. familiar. Like, you know the first house you went and that was red? Yeah. That color has a, a very unique name. Oh? Uh, I think it's... What the heck is she doing here? <laughs> you know that voice actor? Yes. I don't know her <laughs> name, but she's mostly in kids games and kids movies as a voice actor. <laughs> okay, so it is quite a change. 
Yeah, that's what caught me off guard. <laughs> but yeah, you'll uh, be seeing oh, yeah. these a lot. The the red color we have over there is called uh, Falu Red, which also is especially a red pigment. We also have a source called Falu Corv, but they're also n known as a uh, Smallland Red, uh, okay. Smallland Red, and fun note. Air we call Smallland, Smallland, is one of the bigger air uh, domains of Sweden. <laughs> okay, so sort of like how Iceland is green and Greenland is ice? Kinda. Uh, let's see. A short handwritten note found next to a deceased police officer at whatever. It reads, Friday, the term, missing teenagers, Therese Notson, 18, granddaughter, Marie Granberg, Daniel uh, Gardvort, uh, more friends, names un unknown, last known position there, reporters, Rolf and Zaida Notson, grandparents and primary caretakers. Okay. You want me to have read the names? Uh, yeah, <laughs> would be very appreciated. Therese uh, Knutson, Marie Granberg, Daniel Gardvort, and let's see. Björkne Skogen, okay. Ibole Holmen, I think that's pronounced that, I'm not pronouncing that term. Rolf and Saida Knutsson, Yttervik is the location, Ibole Holmen and Saltham, uh, Salt Harbor. Yeah. Uh, was there any more about the uh, Yttervik and uh, Knutsson uh, family. Okay, you can also I had to struggle to not go too Swedish there. <laughs> okay. But, yeah. I'm not fully sure how to describe most of the gameplay in this, because uh, you're, mo you're supposed to play things guerrilla style. As in, when you do find enemies, you're supposed to do more hit and run, and just scavenge whatever you can find, wherever you can find it. And I'm not sure if resources actually respawn or anything. So, in a way, you are uh, pu constantly pushed to move forwards. But what I ran into is that, well, I ran out of ammo before I ran out of enemies. <laughs> no. Okay, another backwards cap. Uh, let's see, profile. Ah, there. <laughs> Okay, we can even turn things around a bit. Uh, I think it's, I think it also kept the stuff that I had already unlocked here as well. Uh, yeah, this will definitely help with being guerrilla. And, oh, hello. Ger what? That's how you pronounce guerrilla warfare? Guerrilla? I think. I thought it was called pr pronounced guerrilla. Like, almost like gorilla, but guerrilla. Now, I, I think I think it's specifically said to be different to avoid, well, gorilla and guerrilla uh, conf <laughs> confusion. Okay. Uh, oh, from Marco, resources don't be respawn. Okay, so you do have to constantly move on and be careful with your expenditure. So, in a way, it sort of makes it semi-survival horror-ish. Let's see, we found both collectibles here and the weapon. But it still says to investigate something more. Uh, yeah, I actually forgot to go upstairs. We can find... Let's see, some more textile and a firework. Some more fireworks. These can be used as distractions, I believe. Oh, dear. Uh, I used to know that there's something missing here. People... But that, um, well, if there were some people, actually, yeah, people that would shout at you, take off your shoes. <laughs> uh, let's see. If the war comes, civil defense pamphlet. Front and back pages of the 1983 edition of the civil defense pamphlet, if the war comes. During the Cold War, the, C the, the Swedish uh, government issued a public information pamphlet and delivered it to every single household in Sweden as part of the Total uh, Vorsvar, Total Defense program 
The publication included instructions on how civilians were expected to act in case of a major national crisis, in particular an invasion by a foreign power or nuclear warfare. By the late 1980s, every citizen was aware that Hesse Frederick, the nickname for the Swedish civil defense siren, would start ringing or could start ringing at any time, and knew where the nearest shelter was and which belongings to take with them. The back page of the document features a, yeah, a summary of the four types of warning signals and how to recognize them. Readiness alarm, immediate danger of war, wartime postings to mobilization site, 30 second siren tones interspersed with 15 second gaps, runs for five minutes. Air raid alarm, immediate danger, seek shelter, short tone burst for the duration of one minute. Important public announcement, listen to the radio, six, seven second and <clears throat> Six to seven second tone burst interspersed with 14, 12 to 14 second gaps. The signal can be used in emergencies in peacetime as well as wartime. Runs for two minutes and danger over. Continuous signal runs for 30 to 40 seconds. Okay. Uh, yeah, over here we have a monthly test of the air raid sirens. It's yeah. been going on since forever. <laughs> yeah, we have that at that time. And I being glad the time it has not been picked up by stream here but uh, i did not know we had that nickname for it uh, let's see marco and to explain how me becoming a homeless wizard and all that happened i just installed roblox <laughs> okay uh, i have to admit i've i've always had a bit of a low opinion of roblox but that was basically because i thought it was mostly just knock off minecraft and such but from everything i've learned of it it is actually highly it can get highly uh uh, what would be the word complex with its systems? It, it's basically more of a, a game engine for people to make their own stuff in than just a, a simple game. Yeah, like I think it's. I think they took to heart for our. I think that was mainly its early criticism early on. I think they started from early on trying to make sure that they were not seen as that anymore. But I think cool. what's early on was very much a almost a had a Minecraft knockoff feel. Okay, let's... Um, okay, we have our med kits. You just by holding tab, you get into this quick select menu. Let's see, we have some binoculars and there is something moving there. So just right click to take a look. And yeah, that's a little robot walking around. So, we just... We're just going to gun it down. Ooh. Typical detection system. And that's a pretty juicy looking fuel tank on its back, huh? Yeah. Enemies will have different uh, weak spots that you can exploit and should exploit to save ammo. Let's see. We can search these. Small fuel cell. Which you can plant as a bomb. <laughs> Some lead. Probably not the lead we put into it. And let's see. We have a map. Maybe you might be able to recognize where this is. I um, would have a chance. I'm unsure. For... Itterweek sounds familiar, but I'm... Um... This main place is a suite that I don't know about. Okay. Yeah. In a similar vein, it would be like asking me to describe <laughs> another province of the Netherlands, so can't blame you there. I, bloody heck. I, I can tell you this. Expecting me to even think I know the entirety of the city or even the village I used to would not work for. Yeah. I don't think I've even explored. I think we'll explore like maybe like half the village I used to live in. It's another bot up the road, and yeah, they can spot you can from quite a distance. So stealth is advised. Not that I'm any good at it in this game. Okay, some more. Oh, we got some makeup as well from that. Okay, I think these types of you know, bots are called hunters. And yeah, if they spot you, they will just hunt you down. They will not give up. 
Okay, take aim. There. It, you know what they remind me of? Mm -hmm. The damn Rubus from Camp Cretaceous. <laughs> okay. If if you, 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 you saw how it scanned that rock? Yep. Just like those robots. <laughs> so those were a bit more advanced. Yeah. But uh, surprisingly similar in some ways. Okay. Get ourselves a bit of wood. Get there. Uh, let's see. Okay, Captain, the pirate group is calling for a raid, so I gotta go. See ya. <laughs> see you later. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Go See you later and good luck. Okay, a bit before they sa also said, so far it's a good game browser. Yeah, I, it would be easier and better to describe Roblox like that. Okay, remember that combat is not always the best approach. Sometimes being stealthy pays off and saves bullets. And we already have a binocular. Okay. Ah, uh, and Shirka. Let's see, we have three of these going around here. And any up front? Doesn't look like it. Is that number three or a fourth? Either way, we'd probably want to go around them. And hello. Up. Let's see. Letter with the hunter's address. Uh, on the envelope, someone has a very stylish handwriting, uh, with a very stylish handwriting, jotted down. <clears throat> can, I, can you do those? Hoot uh, Algren, Björkness, that I recognize. I used to know where it is. Ebelholmen. Okay. The letter inside reads, Kurt, that's it. I can't stand living in Stockholm anymore, far away from you. And that wasn't for me. I suppose uh, <clears throat> I'll visit one of these coming weekends. Let's go hunting together again soon, shall we? Guess hunting has grown on me a bit. Annie. Okay. And that gave us a side mission. And for now, we should try to get to the church. Yeah, I, I too guess, much, uh, I guess this is within Stockholm area. Hmm. Could be you. Yeah. Just look at how far away they could start spotting me, huh? Yeah. Okay, nothing there. Okay. They're frolicking around, but not looking this way. Crouching, of course, helps with staying hidden. Let's see, there is two collectibles, one schematic and something else here. I wonder... Who does these robots belong to? I believe that is explained as you get to the end of the game. Uh, but I've not come that far because, like I said, I ran out of bullets. And there is one thing in the game that's... Well, it's just an absolute bullet sponge that ended with me basically wasting every single round that I had. So I couldn't really progress further past that. Oh, dear. Yeah, the church has been shot up. Okay, there is someone here. A textile and a cap. You'll want to search through everything of these since, well, you won't be getting more of them if you come back later. Uh, what did we... There was a photo we picked up. Some more fireworks. And stuffed. Stardust. Can we close this door? There we go. Okay, I believe radios and such can also be used as distractions, or rather as lures. And yeah, storage box. Easily recognizable by its product name, Plundra. <laughs> of course. It, it means uh, plunder. Yeah, 
<laughs> IKEA joke. And yeah, here we can just store stuff so we don't get over. Okay, apparently it also saves all of the stuff I found <laughs> in my other worlds, even though we started a new world. Okay. And that kind uh, and that kind of good in a way. True, it would help with starting things up, but it's it could also be seen as a bit cheaty since you you have access to stuff that your character hasn't collected themselves. Yeah, preferences. Yeah, that might explain the real achievement of player two. Oh, det finns på riktigt. Det var inte inbildning. Jag heter Therese. Jag har skadat mig rätt illa i benet och armen. Kan du snälla sätta ihop ett första förband? Det ligger några instruktioner där borta. Okej, okay, when... Mm. Du kan ta den här walkie-talkien. Du måste se till att hålla kontakten nu. Kan du hämta mina scout-grejer där ute? De ligger bredvid fröken Hoy. Där finns allt som behövs för att göra ett första förband. Jag... Jag kan inte gå ut dit igen. Jag var tvungen att släppa allt jag bad på. Jag var alldeles för långsam och jag hade så himla ont. Okay, last time I played this game there weren't any human NPCs, which made everything feel really freaking creepy. Okay, uh, over here. Yeah, we can make consumables. Uh, there. Yeah, simple first aid kit. We just need some adhesive and textile. And there we go. Okay, sch schematic points. Okay, what's that about? Uh, oh, it says, okay, it's doing, it's being a bit dumb. It wants us to collect the materials uh, for it first. Uh, are there any lane about here or something? And it doesn't count that we already have the materials. Okay. I either forgot or didn't know at all that you could actually go prone. It would definitely help it being stealthy as well. Oh, hello. And yeah, weak spots and strong spots. So go for the tank, don't go for the face. Uh, is there enough stuff here to be found for another or just... I'll just find some more in here. I guess that makes sense considering it needs its face to scan. So they probably put a lot of armor there. And yeah. probably expect the people to think headshot will do the trick. All while ignoring the fact that there's a very obvious tank on the back. <laughs> yeah. And it looks like materials aren't in here or I just didn't put any in here. I... Okay, they are not being counted here it seems. Or... Where is the lead and such that I found? Hmm. Okay, I'm guessing that's not being counted in our inventory at the moment for some reason, or I'm just looking straight past it. Also a bit dumb that it has to reload the images with, on every move of this. You know, this. This game is a bit janky. Yeah, so that, 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 that's a bit weird, but that probably explain why they said it's not done, even if it has early access for the real... They probably want to do some uh, polishes. True, though I don't remember the last time this game got uh, a patch or anything like that. Uh, I guess we'll just have to go fight these. And yeah, they they will explode and cause damage around them like that. Okay. I feel so like you don't someone... want to be close. Yeah, I feel like someone made a bit of a design flaw. Yeah. Oh, I think the ones at the road hurt. Can we... There we go. It can be a bit picky. Okay, just a few pews and extra chairs. Nothing actually useful at the moment, unless we chop them up. Which I don't think you actually can. Okay, delayed response on that. Probably because of the low difficulty. Yep. 
Okay, yeah. Yep. And that's the timer going off. Yep. Was that the same one I just shot, or...? Okay, yeah, it, it leapt for us as, as it died. Okay. Holy. Uh, yeah, I think you can get a decent impression of this game. I wouldn't say to play this for our mainstreams, maybe as a multiplayer thing sometime. Um, well, I will not be playing it. I will just be commenting on this, but I will not be able to handle this game. Okay. And yeah, the... Okay, good design. Okay, good design that it... The, the, yeah, the mission has us find the stuff to do the thing. So let's make one of these, even though we already made one. And hand it over. Min farmor och farfar är borta. De var inte hemma när de där. Kan du hjälpa mig leta efter dem? Okay. That's way to hear her voice. Det finns bara en like, väg på den här ön. Så om vi vill ha hjälp måste vi ta oss västerut. Det ligger ett kalhygg i närheten. Vi kan börja där. Farfar var skogshuggare förr. Så han jobbade där ibland. Om vi har tur kanske vi kan hitta något där. Like, I have heard her in some semi-serious roles, but closest would be, like, Shrek as in something like that in seriousness. But still a bit of a... animated cartoon level. Okay, I thought for a moment but... you said you meant that she was a voice in Shrek. I'm a little bit surprised if she was... I think she may have voice like in some of the DreamWorks movies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For uh, she has been in many Disney and uh, other animation uh, animated movies. Oh, right you hear everywhere, but you don't know the name. But it's hard to keep track of of what else in so many places. But this this game is definitely outside her usual box. Uh, well, it does help to not be boxed in. It, uh, or typecast, I believe it's called, uh, that has killed some people's careers or just their motivation to keep going with their careers because they always get put in the same damn roles. Yeah, so I guess when she got offered this role, she took it. Okay. In the meantime, the next game t is taking its bloody time to start up. And on this game, I'm... I'm a bit 50-50 on it. I've heard absolutely terrible things about it, but also good things about it. As it's just busy optimizing its shaders. For clarification, it's an Ubisoft game, so yeah. To be expected. Um, but yeah, with Generation Zero, I think I'll definitely start up a new world with that, with a new character to see well all the new stuff that they added in it afterwards and actually i can take a moment to look up when it did get its last update uh, let's see library gen zero there okay new content tactical equipment pack okay last update was may 25th okay Tactical response updates, patched. Okay, so it is actively being worked on still. I th I thought it was, or I thought slash heard it had been basically abandoned, but apparently that's untrue. Yeah, they, they may have taken some hits during the pandemic, perhaps. Likely. Like uh, working from home or getting sick and all that could delay. That, but uh, many games got delayed during that time. Okay, why? Why is the body uh, game full screen? Uh, I just don't get it with some of these things why they default back to full screen. But uh, yeah, this lets people see <laughs> what it is before Drakia gets to see. So let me just try and get through this quickly. Uh, screw off with your stuff. 
And of course, it needs to load again to get past all of that. So, fuck off. Okay, options. I know I'd set this to windowed mode, but of course it has to reset itself. Because Ubisoft games are nothing if stable. Cough, cough. At their video. Lower the resolution. Then set to windowed. And apply. There we go. You can see now? I can see. Okay. Well, this game is... Okay, of course it doesn't show its name here. This game is Ghost Recon Breakpoint. The latest of, uh, well, the Ghost Recon games. Uh -oh. To my knowledge, I don't think they made a new one after. There is Rainbow Six Siege, but that's not... It takes place in the same universe, I think. But it's not the same... Uh, series in the universe, I believe. Oh, this game. Yeah. Seems that Yuki has already heard of it. Experience. The ghost experience lets you choose Shut up. two different ways to play the PVE version. Of More okay. of it. I never into of it, and it's been. I seen it a lot on uh, trailers on YouTube and such. I just. Yeah, yeah, just these games are not my kind of game. Okay, the, the previous one, um, Wildlands, that was a pretty fun game. And I have, yeah, the original, the <clears throat> the first response to this game was then basically, you know, was people basically going, what the fuck did you do to all of this? Because it changed up a lot by well, introducing leveled stuff and such, which people did not like at all. Uh, but later on, they added in a much more Wildlands-like mode to the game. I don't know if it's this ghost experience, immersive stuff, but I believe they also added in uh, yeah, another mode that basically played like Wildlands, where you had to go around liberating areas of the map. Yeah, for now, start up the time. build the tools to lead the planet into the future a completely sustainable economy a blossoming environment safe homes security for your family and a community where innovation is celebrated the generations that come after us may forget all about us but they will thrive because of the work we do here thank you for joining Skeltank in a rule together What is going on with the sound? Test one, two. Three, four, five. Okay, it it happened again there, but I caught it the moment it shut off. So yeah, I <laughs> I saved everyone a second burst of uh yeah ear pain there. So oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Do you did turn off the game sound as well? Yeah, that, that's because I had to, well, move away my mouse out of the game and such, which, ah. well, it keep getting deselected, it loses audio. I don't know what, some games will let you play audio as the game still runs, um, but I don't know how to really 
force that or something when the game does not have that. Uh, anyways, let's stop the. Uh, let, let's keep the timer going. Just hit randomize. Yes. And start. Okay, generic man looks generic. Oh, yeah, basically, Robo Island, go bad. Okay, they're not expected to have sci fi elements. Hmm. And now that I look at the backgrounds, the game isn't running in actual 1920 by 1080. It's a few pixels short of that. And the game just crashed. Okay. <laughs> uh, well then, yeah. uh, I think we can clearly put that as a no then. Yeah, consider how long it took for you to start it. Yeah, no. Okay, yes, I wasn't no. really planning to play that anyways. Next game. And no, that is not audio glitching. That's the actual sound of the game because this is uh Noaria. Gnomoria. Gnomo I don't know of this game. Extremely little new one. I've seen it recommended on YouTube. Yeah, basically this is a more angled 3D-ish version of uh, Dwarf Fortress. Oh yeah, so, it is. I, I recall watching maybe one or two videos about it. And start the timer. Uh, but yeah, th because of this... <laughs> That is why I just always keep extra games installed outside of just four. Yeah. Okay. But you did it at start, but you started to have one backup, then you have started to have more than one backup. Yeah, now I have four backups. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I should probably go play Dwarf Fortress again now that it's on Steam and much easier to run. And... Yeah, it doesn't really give you a tutorial, or if it does, I it's been disabled or something. Um, oh, look. It, the soundtrack is so... 8-bit? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's... Is there any way to get a tutorial with this? Uh, let's see. Save everything. Uh, pause to show enemies. Uh, yeah, th basically this game is an attempt at a you know, dwarf fortress on Steam in a semi 3D. Okay. Uh, yeah, I the only stories you'll get with this is the ones you'll make yourself. You don't go mad from the audio, from the music. So let's drop that down a bunch. And yeah, we have a bunch of controls down here. Terrain, agriculture, build, designate area. Uh, yeah, basically, like I said, think Dwarf Fortress, but uh, gnomes instead of dwarves. Oh dear gods. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, the 8 big music, eight, 8 big music is a bit of a hit and miss. Okay, we can open up a menu by right-clicking, though. How do I designate something to be mined out then? Oh, okay, it's dragged. Okay, that is... That is something that... Uh, hmm. I think that got into the War Fortress eventually. Uh, is the game just plain paused or something? Uh, yeah, that's... Some has risen. Okay, now they are moving. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I don't that's think how they move about. Yeah, when I saw the move about in the video, I felt like I'm not playing this. Uh, yeah, I, I think we can put this one aside as well. Yeah. I, I can uh, see people enjoying this, just... I'm sure it really fits us to begin with. Uh, yeah, like I said, it is basically Dwarf Fortress, uh, 
but done differently. And there will definitely be people who would like that, to have it be like isometric instead of top down and such. And probably with some controls improvement here and there. Though the Steam version of Dwarf Fortress have, has improved on things a lot. Uh, but yeah, this game may came out before Dwarf Fortress made that move and made the two designers of the game like millionaires the moment that it launched. Yeah, the, I think last time I was checking it, it, it seemed like it was good early on that people yep. thought it would give a bad reviews for... I think they stopped developing it, never fixed these on bugs, serious bugs with it. You mean Dwarf Fortress? Uh, no more, yeah. Okay, yeah, that would... That would also be a point against it. Anyways, we have another game that doesn't really want to play nice with resolution because I can force it into windowed mode, but I can't force it to change <laughs> resolution. This is, yeah, Goner 2. And... I can't see it. Okay, it's, it is I windowed. See can it. I... There we go. Now I can see. Okay, that was weird. I, had, I have to move it so that a bit of it is showing is hidden off screen to me but yeah I, I just do not know what the hell to think about this game we have yeah a character okay now it's being <laughs> it was moving behind the task manager and uh, yeah this just all looks like a a fever dream of some sorts okay or more if you want to get eat yeah, apparently that's the, the goal. Okay. And then we get trapped out somewhere else. Oh. A rifle. Okay. Oh, what I heard, heard a lot of one weird tale today is similar to first, like, a bit. A lot of. There are apparently mammoth tales in Canada. Okay. And apparently, he wanted the native. I forgot which tribe it was. Sorry, people. I forgot which tribe in Canada is to this tale. But apparently, one medicine man tried to stop a mammoth. But the mammoth ate him and then shut him out alive. Okay. Yep. So they had to use rotten wood to burn around him to purify him. Okay, weapon is empty. Like, some yeah, of the things I heard from there sounded alright. There's something there, but all the things felt like. Is this uh, the version of a bit of a yoke tail? Sounds like it. Let's see, for, we can jump on those things. For I, I know that have... every culture has a serious story, but they also every culture also has a bit of a story that's a bit more yokeful. Okay. What the okay. heck? Yeah, the, the game is a bit of an action platformer from the looks of it, but I'm just confused by everything and the lack of explanations. You're not alone, I'm so confused as well. But again, it's, I've been having that today. I have also watched, beside that mammoth video, I also watched about... fringe theories about dinosaurs. Okay. And apparently, one of the early theories about dinosaurs backplates was... At least, someone theorized Stereosaurus used its back place to glide. Okay, this is new. What the heck? Uh, okay, when I... Death's lair. Uh, yeah. I'll just have to force the game closed like that. <laughs> like, uh, I just don't know what the hell. Then moving on then to, let's see, uh, uh, Oh, oh, come on! I... That's the third game now that I have to force back into windowed mode. Give me a second. Video, not full screen, windowed, and 1080. Uh, where is 1080? Up higher. There. Okay, now stay. Uh, okay, this one, and how many of... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Number seven of the day is Grim Dawn. It's, simply put, it's it's a uh, grimmer version of Diablo. Hello there in the background. 
Yeah, yeah it, okay. I've been half curious with this game. Let's go make a new character then. Uh, where we can... Let's see, banner in difficulty. Let's see. Significantly increases it for experience ARPG. Let's turn that off because I am not a veteran at all. Is this just going to throw me in with my old character? Because I played this for a while. It, yes, it is. Okay. Main menu. Yes, it days? Uh, ah, here. Hmm? You said yes, it days. You mean, you meant to say yes, it does? Okay, now I'm just blanking on what. <laughs> when when, when but, you said, does this uh, use my old character? Yes, it days? Uh, yes, it is does. what you said. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was wondering, did I actually go Dutch or something? Okay, so we, we need to create new characters over here. Okay, start. And we'll start the timer. We paid a heavy price. But the trap worked. You seem surprised. It's been a while since we've had a win. How long will it hold? I've never entrapped a being like this. But the bonds hold, for now. How do we dispose of it? I'm just a witch. You're the soldier. If it bleeds, I can kill it. How do you kill a spirit, though? If you kill the mortal vessel while it's bound, the spirit may perish within. If it escapes... It's listening to us. What are you? Others of your kind name us the Furion. Why have you invaded our world? Your world. We exist in fact and were managed by your corrupt gods. Your pride have opened the way, and how we return to reclaim the one light shall be ours. I've heard enough of this rubbish. Let's hang it. That's a grim start. Destroy this vessel, and I will find another. I have tasted its desires and emotions. Your kind is weak. You have already lost this war. Do it. Captain! Cut him down! What? Are you mad? Better safe than sorry. The spirit has fled. This is a human now. Good shot. The captain is correct. When they awaken, they won't remember a thing. The ethereal was right. The war is lost. We're a resistance now. And we need every human survivor we can call to our cause. Maybe this one here can still die with some honor. If they ever wake up, send them to me. If they don't, bury them deep with the others. Yeah, quite a start, huh? One thing after another. This is a strange something Sunday, ain't it? Yeah. Still drawing It's, it's a strange breath, Monday. Uh, no, no Sunday. Lucky bastard, I'll give you that. Best go speak to Captain Bourbon right away. He seems to have a plan for you now that we've spared your life. Hangman Jarvis. What happened? How did uh, I get here? You were possessed. So we uh, strung you up. Seems the spirit fled your body before your life ran out. I'd have left you to hang, but uh, the captain had other plans. He sees some purpose in you, and I'm not going to argue. Uh, also, with hanging, it's supposed to break the neck, not choke someone out. So, you're a poor hangman. Where can I find this captain, then? He's, um, up the road, in the courtyard. Don't make me regret cutting you down. You didn't cut us down, you... 
the captain did. He shot us down. Okay. Yeah. Holy! I said I do. I'm impressed he was able to hit it twice. Okay. Typical crows like this. Mouse is all you basically need for movement. You click, you go, you hold, you follow. So you're the one we almost hung. <laughs> I didn't really see a sense in it, but then again, no one really cares what old Barnabas thinks. You really should go speak with the captain. He'll be the one deciding whether there's a place for you here at Devil's Crossing. Yeah. You're not looking too bad for someone just come back from the brink of death. You were taken, possessed by the same creatures that have been reanimating these zombies here. Normally I'd have burned you with the rest to be safe, but we've lost too many people to the dead. I need someone expendable. Someone with nothing to lose, but a lot to gain. Right now, you're that person. Prove your worth to me, and the survivors of Devil's Crossing may just welcome you. I think you might have something to attend to, Captain, behind you. Uh, what is it you want Norman? me to do? The bodies of the dead are rising again in some horrible unlife. Corpses don't just get up and move around on their own. Something is reanimating our deceased with ethereal energy. We have observed the dead for some time, and they appear to be flooding lower crossing from the burial hill, just beyond town. I want you to go to the burial hill, find whatever is controlling these abominations, and destroy it. Okay. You will need to fight your way through lower crossing. Once you've crossed the stream on the far side of town, there will be a beaten path leading up to burial hill. I know I'm asking a lot of you, but I'd be asking a lot of my people to welcome you with open arms too. Help us in our hour of need, and I will open Devil's Crossing to you. Okay, I'll find what's reanimating these corpses, or those corpses. And, yeah. Typical Diablo-like combat as well. Click to attack and such. Yeah. And just beat need... on something until it's dead. We did keep some people we can talk to, but uh, yeah, this is a showcase, not a playthrough. Yeah. And yeah, I think one difference with this game might be that the that the areas are pre-designed and not randomized as in some games. Yeah, I think in the original Diablos and such, some areas were randomized and some were pre-designed. I forget. I I haven't played many yeah. of these games. It was same with Quest, but the second game it was uh, randomized maps with zombie Terminator. But uh, almost the same quest. Now with the third game, they took the best of all of both two and made it into one game. Is that fair? Some people say they have one or two as best, but I kind of like three more. Like, I like the first and second game. I just felt more at ease with the third. Okay, I know Diablo 3 is very controversial. Because of that uh, auction house stuff and such, though they have uh, pulled that out, I believe. Yeah, I, that one I, ne I never liked, and I, I never used it. Yeah, it would, it would also screw you over by just dropping stuff that you could not use at all, which was basically given to, well, <laughs> throw onto the, the market to try and sell to other people. Yeah, th yeah, that part I did, did dislike. I, so far, I just like the gameplay of it, but the old functional house, I always felt like, really? Why? And hello there, Sensei. You doing well today? Uh, hello <laughs> I think there, you've been Taddy. lurking a few times. Taddy? What? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of name uh, is that? Uh, it's better than calling them Sensei. Yeah. But yeah, gameplay with these you know, gameplay with these kind of games start off decently simple, but you get skills and such later on, and enemies get well abilities and weaknesses and such as well typically. So things tip well, as with most games. Uh, hello. Uh, looks like this path has been blocked off by some rocks. You can clear it out with heavy explosives. The ultimate in mines around Old Car <coughs> Arcovia is likely the best place to find. Them. Okay. We don't have any dynamite, though. And yeah. We have our inventory, we have our equipment and such. 
Um, okay, that's good to hear, Sensei. This has a bit more defense for us, so we'll take it. Always nice when stuff like that changes your actual appearance. And let's see, I think the closest to a game like this that I've played, I wouldn't even call it recently, but in the last few years, probably would have been Torchlight 2. I know I got through the entirety of uh, Hellgate London. You lucky that bastard. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Hellgate London is a whole story on its own. Uh, but that wouldn't really call, count as an ARPG. Or at least not one like this, since it's uh, third person more. Yeah, Still a but, nice game. Yeah, you can say it was a third person uh, Diablo-like. Yeah. It, it was a fun game, but I I don't even know as a clue if I, uh, halfway through or not. Yeah, at the very least it is... Uh, what was that recently that... Uh, like with Warrior Within, I really like the concepts of that game. It's just that they couldn't perform them to the best of the ability. Yeah, that, to the best of the potential of that. Yeah, and people had hoped there would be a sequel and more games of it, like... I don't know, Hellgate Tokyo trailer was a fan-made one, or... A trade of what they had hoped to do? I think there was a Tokyo expansion for Hellgate London. Uh, but did it ever get released? Also, there was one of those that they want and I was a but it, nothing happened for it. The only thing about Hellgate Tokyo I seen is a trailer. That's it. Yeah, I, I don't think it was a actual new game or anything but more an expansion or big update to the original game i believe there's also a london section that was added on but yeah sadly no new hell game games there there was one for vr and uh, yeah not good Bill, can get london is the first game no there, there, there was a vr game made of it oh but, okay Wait, a VR one? Okay. Yeah, and it looks yeah, cheap as all hell. Oh, of course. Probably was. Well, yeah, probably this type of game is... Uh, go ahead. Uh, as, as I was to say, probably due to the... Due to... How obscure... As, like, many remember it. But it didn't be developed into a franchise as they had hoped, so I guess they just because they didn't get enough money to do the V11 proper. Uh, uh, we found ourselves a randomized boss, it seems. We can't just beat it down at the moment. Nope. And of course, it has a lot of loot to drop. Give me that. Oh dear. Uh, what were you to say before I accidentally interrupted you? Uh. I think I've forgotten. Oh, let's retreat. Uh, we have some healing items here. Uh, yeah, I know there were there were a few comics of Hellgate London that were pretty good, but sadly it's just a, a setting with a lot of potential that has basically been wasted. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to look it up sometime to see what happened. I, I know it's been sold like three times to different people who have been treating it worse and worse with each. It's been basically turned into a, a shitty MMO these days, I believe. There's an MMO of it, really. Yeah, it's, it's basically been turned into one and another good one at that. Oh. Like, I still have a physical copy of the game, but if you were to download it... Uh, as it would be available now, you would get uh, that version, I believe. It's... Okay, so I guess they want to do something good, but they ended up needing to sell it. Yeah. And uh, the other owners just mistreated it. Uh, let's see, these are... Okay, we require more physique for these. Wait, yeah, also typical Diablo-like stuff. Oop. Uh, wait, wait, wait. let's take a look at that's name. Let's see, aggressive Aggress padded breaches of readiness, <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Okay, that, that, that's a mental image of how they made it. Yeah, probably like <laughs> padded like a, an isolation cell, but with a big ass fucking zipper up the front. Almost more big of an aggressive sewing. <laughs> uh, let's see, these magic gloves that we can also equip now. Uh, there. I get the feeling these. Yeah, th there's probably more stats to these. Which is why they're shown in yellow, but we don't have anything to identify them with. Which is also a very Diablo-like thing, that you have to identify magical objects to know the full extent of it. Hmm. Oh dear gosh, I just had Andy. You, you, I think you can name your regular work plan stats. <laughs> uh, let's see, did we... Okay, we are past the lower crossing area, I believe, now, in fighting. I don't know if the Diablo games have something like this, where different factions will actually fight themselves. But uh, no, that's experience going to loss, so... But in fighting like that, that no, like, you, you may see them fight NBCs, but that usually make NBCs that are on your side. But not True. a third faction, though. Oh, yeah, I actually saw a video re uh, yesterday about Doom's infighting systems and such, and it's actually pretty interesting. Like, uh, en <clears throat> uh, enemies of the same type cannot hurt each other if they are throwing projectiles. So, uh, barons of hell who throw plasma bolts or something, they can't. They can literally not hurt each other. Uh, so they will never infight as well, unless they're under specific circumstances. And what is this? Lower crossing rift? Okay, it's... <clears throat> this teleport spot. Um, but... Yeah, it, it was a pretty interesting video, I'll just leave it at that. And the infighting mechanics are a bit more complex than you actually think. It's not just if they see each other, they will go after each other in the original Doom. They actually have to hurt each other first. I see, they need to do something that aggravates the other. Yeah. Okay, get rid of this. And yeah, this is not typically the game that I prefer to play, but that does not mean that it's a bad genre or anything. Like, you know how, <laughs> how known and uh, liked most of the Diablo games are, though from what I'm hearing, people are not having, not holding expectations for Diablo 4 because, well, fucking Bethesda and such, or uh, what was uh, Activision Blizzard? No, Activision Blizzard. Yeah, that that's the ones. So, yeah, yeah, just a bunch of the big the, ones. Of bullshit these days. I heard the demo was promising, but people started to realize some concerns about it since they shoot early on, things early on, but they realize, wait, if the, all this is happening early on, what is left in the end of the game? Yeah, and that's not even the starting with the bullshit that is Diablo Immortal. Yeah. Like, do you guys and not have phones? Fuck off. Yeah. And also, I think recently, I haven't seen what's the video, but it seems to be concerned that there is a new monetization method for something that has made people on edge with the other four. This was like, probably just. Uh, uh, ever since I saw the other four trailer, I was not excited for it. Something yeah. just felt off right away. Yeah, plus just. It yeah, the inventory does not pass the game. Activision Blizzard just has zero goodwill with the gaming community. And they fully deserve it for all of the bullshit that they pulled with, like, starting with Diablo Immortal. And now the bullshit that they've pulled with Overwatch 2 in cancelling the PvE version uh, mode of the game. Which was what they claimed why they needed to make a whole new game new game in, in <coughs> quotation marks there heavily in the first place so yeah, yeah. if like, activision I... blizzard says it do not believe it at all yeah like 
I used to like Blizzard, but I've said it became Acti Activision Blizzard. Yeah. Things are rapidly gone downhill. Like, I have heard there has been weird things even before the merch going on. But was it as apparent? But it seems the merching and many other things has rapidly changed that. Yes. Sadly, that happens with studios of all sorts and companies that over time people leave and new people enter and slowly but surely the what would be the words the feel the uh, climate of it just changes and yeah you end up with something that is completely different than what you had before in complete uh, anatomy to what was before even yeah, mm. or a case of, I think many of the original members of Blizzard are still there, but they may have grown a bit... Jaded? More of two used to be successful. Yeah, I like mean, the very arrogance. Magic. Wait, what? Uh, yeah. Uh, I well, forget specifically magic. which... Yeah, Bioware magic. They're basically... Bio, the, some of the people in charge at Bioware basically thought they could do no wrong with the games that they released. And then, well, Andromeda went down the toilets. And, yeah, their reputation has sunk lower and lower since. So, yeah, sadly, that is something that is likely to eventually happen with most, if not all, companies. That's... Yeah, this, the climate of it gets poisoned to the point where it's just something completely different. And this thing has a fuck ton of health. He's I saw a reanimator. And he's reanimating corpses around us. We would probably need some skills to deal with this. Uh, where would we actually get skills? Factions? Um, it probably gave an explanation of skills earlier, but, well, we kind of moved right past it. Yeah, we probably be distracted by other, other things. Like, let's say this again. I hope this won't happen, but I am fearing that we may have a video game crash in the future. Yeah. I don't think the entire uh, industry will collapse in itself, but I do believe a bunch of big ones will just, uh, yeah collapse in on themselves as uh, the investors lose complete thrust in the capability of the well, companies to actually keep making a profit. Yeah, like, again, as it is here, here, like, a, a form of, I, know, I believe that form will be a form of game, game crash, just not as extreme as the first one was. Yeah, more like a compression of the industry. Okay, yeah. let me take a look. Yeah. Why? Why does G do that? Okay. Uh, let me take a look here. Key binding. Skill window is, is window is S. Okay, we okay we can select our class. Uh, okay, no zombies sneaking up. We have soldier. Uh, trained to survive in most hellish conditions. Yeah, basically a frontline tank and such. Demolitionist. <laughs> Okay, the gunner, uh, part engineer, part sorcerer. Okay, they were used to break enemy ranks and breach fortifications with a devastating array of explosives and destructive magic. Basically, an archer for this world, occultist, knight blade, assassin, arcanist, and shaman. Let's just go boring and go with soldier. Though we can select a second path later on, I do believe. And we have 12 points. Uh, let's see. We can put those in either total rank or that's Markovian's advantage. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, that's an auto. That's a passive skill. This is an active one, I presume. Force wave. Such force is channeled into an attack that it compresses the fairy air, projecting out a wave of energy that stuns and damages foes. Okay. They had an anime skill. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I don't... Hmm. 
if we do this okay the more points we put in this the further into the line we can go but it does mean you have less points to actually put into these uh, let's put one there and let's see far from beating its mission uh, five percent chance okay that's extra damage Tremor, with the will of men here, smash the ground. Technique requires a two-handed melee. Okay. And do these have specific requirements? Discord. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Okay, that adds elemental damage to your attacks. Or at least with a chance of it. No, just just damage added. Okay. Um, now let's put more points in here there. Can we pull those into our taskbar here? Because they haven't shown up there on its own. Um, okay, how how do I add those in there? Let's uh, see. Yep. And that's a timer. Uh, yeah, N nice game this, but I wouldn't say we would uh, stream this really. Yeah, these can be lengthy. Yeah, with a lot of open air where it's just beating on monsters and such. And we'd have to keep a bunch of topics ready to just talk over then. Yeah, this is not always easy. Yeah. And we do have some time left, but I think we should leave it at that with seven games at least shown somewhat. I haven't had a point we actually ended up showing eight games. Um, not sure. Yeah. I think we have that at once, at least, or twice. At the very least, we've had times where we, we went over all of the games that we have we had prepped. Uh, but yeah, before we go look for someone to raid, let's have a look at the games that we covered. We have Freedom Force, which um, that I say yes, and you? Yes, yes. I'm interested in that game, especially now no, we can make our own heroes. Uh, I should look if there's still sites up where there's custom models made for that and such. I'm pretty oh, sure they were back in the zeros. And yeah, Gene Shift Auto gets disqualified for refusing to be windowed at all costs, apparently. I hmm, There's probably a few ways I could still try to force it, but uh, low chance. Then there's Generation Zero, also a nice game, but not much for our type of streaming. Maybe we can do that some uh, sometimes for just multiplayer fun. Uh, speaking of, we should probably try to get Borderlands started up again. Like I've had not, I've not had uh, news from Liz about uh, their internet if it's stable again. So yeah, we'll have to see when we can next do that again. <clears throat> uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoints. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably pl try playing that myself for a bit, but unlikely to be streamed at the moment. Maybe a multiplayer thing as well at some point, but not now at least. Oh dear, yeah, I, I, I'm not feeling that game as well. Yeah, and then we have Nomoria and Gunner 2, both of which are no. And Grimdon, again, good game, but unlikely to be our type of streaming, really. Um, maybe also for multiplayer stuff. I know Beanie played that for a while, uh, but yeah, we'd have to see. Yeah, mm. but, but you said like last week we only had one game. There was a, uh, oh, wait, no, two games we said yes on. Yeah, and that is why we we do this. We we are going to find a lot of no's, but we have found a few gems this way, like iconoclasts. Oh yeah, we definitely have, and, and I feel like we have something with uh, this one as well with the uh, freedom uh, force. Yeah, plus it's just fun to show off my, your collection. Uh, though of course there are this there's still gaps in this, even though I've said that I would trying to show off every game I could, emphasis on could, uh, because some games just do not want to be recorded by OBS at all, or yeah, just or, be windowed. Yeah, or some games are obviously not meant to be streamed to begin with, that. like they are out, out from the bat just bad. Yeah. 
Okay, now that we've done that though, let's go look for someone to raid. And <clears throat> let me change the screen share so you can actually see as well. Yeah, probably good yeah. And also, I noticed something with your outfit that I just now realize is a bit odd. Mm -hmm. You know those buttons you have on your shoulder plates? I wouldn't call them buttons specifically, but okay, yeah. Aren't they supposed to be under the coat flap that is folded uh, inwards? Mm, probably would have been better if I had done that in the modeling, but <laughs> I've never claimed to be an expert. And this is basically what I just cobbled together. I still haven't managed to fix the little bit under my chin from clipping into the blue coat. But yeah. Uh, I've got someone working on a new model anyways. That will probably take a while. But it should be a, a really big improvement over this one. <clears throat> All right. Going to be pricey, but uh, it's it's going to be worth it. Uh, anyways, looking at the people who are online, we have Lifegrow, who is playing Project Zomboids. And then we have Sour Walrus, who is streaming Legends of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Yep. Uh, let me double check that I, I muted the play. Okay. Uh, next up, we have I'm Nice with Monster Hunter World again. They've been busy with that for a while. Uh, Kiri Natsuyoko is playing Payday 2. Okay. Uh, Payday 3 got announced a bit ago. And that's probably going to be a bunch of fun. Yeah, hmm. There's a lot of things to get announced. Like a new Babylon 5 is got announced. Okay. Hasn't it been like over a decade since there's been news of that show? Yeah. And I think also there was another game that got announced. I forgot about which, but I know uh, some friends got extremely hyped for it. All right. Next up, we have K9, who is streaming. S oh, the System Shock remake. Okay, that's out now. Oh, right. That is one of the other games I heard was getting <laughs> re released. Yeah, I, I know that System Shock 3 is currently in developer hell. As in, well, they want to make it, but it's just getting stuck on things. They'll, they'll definitely be looking into this game. Because, yeah, the, the original System Shock is one of the fathers of the immersive sim genre. But uh, the controls of it and such, just how to play it, is really clunky in the, this time, this day and age. <clears throat> oh dear. Uh, see. Next up, we have Rococo uh, Prufe, who is streaming The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. The Witcher series is also one I want to play sooner or later, but that is going to be a long haul as well, since, well, it's, it's three games. And I yeah. think the first one is getting a remake. Yeah, no, here's a pro I think I told you this before. Like, it's, it's probably easier for America to stream it since. Here's the thing. Americans are jealous of us for we in the EU got the uncensored version. Okay. Oh however, yeah, that reminds me, yeah. <laughs> however, without them realizing that means yes, sure, we are lucky to get the uncensored version. Problem is that means we have to censor it if we were to stream it. <laughs> yeah. Or hope that there is a censor option somewhere, but we'll have to see. The Polish don't like censors, I believe. Uh... Uh, anyway, then, who shall we raid, or shall we look at someone at, uh, at someone in the recommended? Uh, we can look, look at the, someone in recommended. Uh, let's see. Also, uh, Nico Silverado is also online with Honkai Star Rail, but we raided them last time. So I'd say that would def uh, <clears throat> disqualify them for a raid now. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, look. Uh, In the recommendeds, we have Edit Edwards, who is streaming Solasta, Crown of the Magister. We have seen them in the recommendeds before, I'm pretty sure. Not sure if we rated them. Uh, then next, we have Kara de Hestia, who is streaming Stalker Anomaly, which I believe is a fan game made of this. In the Stalker universe, the one where uh, Chernobyl went boom a second time and started screwing with reality. Then we have Demothy with Fantasy Life. Can't say I know that. Let's take a peek. I think I recognize that name. Okay, it's not the game I thought it was. Okay. 
Uh, next up, we have Maidon with Phasmophobia, Skier with Bloodborne, and the last one there is a bit out of our typical range. So, yeah. any of those, or shall I pick? Um, I guess in System Shock, maybe? All right. So, K and I copy the name, head to our place, slash raid and paste. Uh, why is it showing? Okay, for some reason it showed the stream as just being a black screen for me for a moment. Oh well. Hey, um, <clears throat> you know, Before we start the raid, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Sensei Tadpole uh, and uh, Random Marco for showing up and chatting along a bit. And thank you, as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, later today, hopefully, we'll have a catch-up stream. Uh, either Prince of Persia or Bastion. The choice is yours, Drakir. Nice Probably per uh, Prince of Persia. So okay. we get the, that one finally done and over. <laughs> uh, you say that like we want to get rid of it, but it... It's no. it's a fun game. It's just you just want to see more of what goes on with uh, the prince and Farah's bickering, huh? Yeah, as well. We, we've been having so many delays with it. I, I just want to get into it again. I <laughs> uh, can't blame you. And after we're done with that one, we'll move on to Prince of Persia 08, which apparently doesn't want to be game captured by OBS, so we will be using display capture for that. Uh. But yeah, for now, let's start up at raids. Uh, oh, they've got raids blocked at the moment. Then I'm picking oh. I'm Nice as a backup. We've been raiding them a few times recently, but oh well. Slash raid and paste. Let's start that up. Okay. Um, yeah. Like we said, like hopefully another stream today in about three hours-ish, 8 p.m. over here. And yeah, Prince of Persia, the Two Thrones then. And uh, yeah, tomorrow our day off, or one of our days off. But yeah. Anyways, thank you all again for watching, and be it now or later. And until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe everyone, and watch out for seagulls.